I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about trigonometric integrals. In problem number 17, we'd like to evaluate the integral of sine cubed of x times cosine squared of x dx. All right, so in problem number 17, we have an integral. It has sine of x to a power, it has cosine of x to a power. And the first thing that I want to look for is, are there any powers of sine of x or of cosine of x that are odd? If there are, then I do one thing, and if there are not, then I use half angle identities. If everything's even, we have to use the half angle identities. But in this case, we have a sine of x cubed. And so if it's cubed, I can break one of those signs off and then turn all of those other signs into cosines. Now, if cosine were the one that were to the odd power, I'd break off one cosine and turn all the other cosines into signs. But as long as one of the two has an exponent that is odd, then we can break one off and use this little trick. So let's do it. Uh, so I'm going to rewrite this guy. This is the integral of, I break one sign off, I have a sine x here, and then I have sine squared of x left over times cosine squared of x dx. So now what I'm going to do, I broke off my one sign, I want to leave it alone. Let's turn all the other signs into cosines. So we write this as the integral of sine of x times sine squared of x could also be written as 1 minus cosine squared of x times cosine squared of x dx. Okay, so the reason I have this sine of x over here by itself is it's going to help me make a substitution. So I'm going to make a substitution I want to let u now be cosine of x. If I do, then du is negative sine of x dx. So since I need a negative sine x dx to make my substitution, I'll put in this negative so I have negative sine x dx, which means I also need a negative on the outside of the integral to cancel it out. So now everything's fine and we're ready for our substitution. When I make it, notice now I have a minus outside the integral. And inside the integral, I have 1 minus u squared. 1 minus u squared. And then cosine squared of x is just u squared. So times u squared. And the minus sine x dx minus sine x dx, that's all just du. Okay, so now we're left with this integral, which is much easier to deal with. First, let's multiply this thing out. I get minus integral of u squared minus u to the fourth du. Let's take an antiderivative, and I get minus Antiderivative of u squared is one third u cubed. Antiderivative of negative u to the fourth is minus one fifth u to the fifth plus a constant. Now we can multiply through by this negative and also we can plug back in for u. Remember u was cosine of x, so let's plug back in and I get minus one third cosine cubed of x, because u is cosine of x, uh, and then minus times minus is plus one-fifth cosine to the fifth of x plus our constant c. And we are done.